Well, you have survived, but you have changed your image quite a lot since uh, Iron Maiden times. What happened to you? You became a family man, or? <laughs> now, I was a family man during Iron Maiden. I say I was the last one in Iron Maiden to become the the family man. You know, everybody else was breeding like rabbits before me. Um, uh, well, yeah, um, I guess uh, I guess I had a haircut, or something. You know, that's about it, really. Uh, what goes out? from you with your hair? Is there something that's not no, in you anymore? No, no not particularly. Um, actually, quite, quite the reverse. I, uh, I mean, I did this new album, Skunk Works, and when you do a big change like that in terms of music, in terms of really kind of um, moving on about 10 years, you know, when, when, you, when you move forward, when you've been living in 1985 and it's 1995, and you suddenly wake up one morning like Rumpelstiltskin and sort of, you know, you know, the frog kisses you or something and you go, wow, you know, <laughs> guess that's, um, that's me. And then you look in the mirror and you go, God, I've been wandering around with all this hair down to my knees for 10 years now. <laughs> Isn't it about time I did something about it, you know? I was just fed up with it, bored with it. Off it went. Oh, I'm oh, uh, sorry, I forgot about you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I tried to translate <laughs> something here. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Katja kysäsi, että Iron Maiden jälkeen Bruce Dickinson imago on muuttunut aika paljon, oliko ruvennut perheelliseksi mieheksi. Itse asiassa rupesin jo silloin Iron Maiden aikaan varsinaisesti sellaiseksi, mutta ainut oikeastaan mitä tapahtunut, leikkasin tukkani. Mitä sen mukana meni? Ei siinä loppujen lopuksi mennyt sen kummempia pitkä aika elämää, mutta kuitenkin tukka vaan lähti. About your family, you said you have two sons and one daughter? That's it, yeah, five, uh -huh. three and one, the four. What, what if uh, one of those came to you and said, Dad, I'm going to be a bass player, I'm going to produce something maybe, I'm going to play something, I'm going to perform in Wembley Arena, what would you say? If he came to me at the age of five years old, I'd buy him a bass guitar. <laughs> <laughs> what if he were 15? I'd, think, I'd say he was a bloody genius if he said that at five years old. I'm like, wow, I said, you know, that's cool, you know, here, you know, have two, you know, I mean, uh, um, you know, and uh, make sure you make provision for your daddy in your old age, yeah. you know. Eli Katja kysyi, mitä sanoisit lapsille, jos joku niistä tulisi tällä hetkellä sanomaan, että mä haluan ruveta basistiksi, lähtee suurin piirtein Wembleylle jo soittamaan. No, jos viisivuotiaana joku tulee sellaista kysymään, niin totta kai mä ostaisin sen basson, se olisi varsin nerokasta, mutta vaatisin myös, että siitä tulisi pienet provisiot mulle itselleni vanhoille päivien varaksi. One more thing about your daughter. If your daughter brought home something like, this is Jack, he's a musician. Jack. <laughs> I love him. Like Jack, like Dad, I want to marry him. What would you say to your daughter? If his second name was Endino, who produced the record, <laughs> I'd say he's a little tall. I'll think about it. And he's a bit strange, but... He's a cool guy. Go for it. Go for it. Mitä sanoisit, jos tyttäräsi tois Jackin, vaikkapa tän nimisen herran näytille ja ilmoittais, että hän on muusikko, antaisitko mennä naimisiin? No tietysti, jos se tulis sen levytuottamisosaston jälkeen, niin mikä siinä? Sen kun mennään. About your latest album, it's not hair heavy anymore, because you don't have that much hair anymore. It's much about aviation. How come? Oh, no, the, the title just comes from a, a kind of a secret um, government uh, research project in America called the Lockheed Skunk Works. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reason we called it Skunk Works was not because I just happened to be interested in aviation. You know, we, we were thinking about calling it something to do with UFOs or <clears throat> something to do with like Skylab or Apollo, you know, a fictitious Apollo mission that never happened or something. And it just happened that we all thought Skunk Works was just a cool sounding name. Um, so. Uh, that's really why it's called Skunk Works. There's not much else about aviation on the record. It's... Mm -hmm. yeah. It was in a biography. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, biographies are shit. They suck. <laughs> don't, don't take yeah. any notice of those, you know. Mites sun uusin Skunk Works-levy, joka muuten ilmestyy vasta tän kuun lopussa, se ei oo enää sitä tukkaheviä, se on enemmänkin ilmailuun liittyvää. Niin on se nimi tulee semmoisesta amerikkalaisesta salaisesta valtion projektista, joka tutkii nimenomaan avaruusasioita, ja itse asiassa Bruce itsekin on kiinnostunut ufoista ja kaikista muista sellaisista. Eli sieltä se Levin nimi tulee siinä muuta lentelemisen kanssa tekemistä. Uh, your music is nowadays quite different from the ones, uh, the kind of music we hear from coming from uh, Great Britain, like Oasis, Blur and things like that, like going strong. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them? Oasis, a really cool band, very good, very mm -hmm. good. Blur, like, oh, okay. You know, I mean, I think Oasis are kind of a, a better band, basically. Uh, they write excellent songs. Uh, and, um, you know, yeah, they're, they're going to be, you know, huge. They're going to be as big as, I don't know, as big as you can be, you know. <laughs> Oasis on Bruce mielestä hyvä bändi, Blurry on sitten vähän heikompaa, ja Oasisista tulee joskus isompi kuin mikä mahdollisesti nyt onkaan iso. 
Uh, there's a phone call for you. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'll pay tomorrow, all right? <laughs> it's in the post. The check is in the post. Kukas sorry. <laughs> Mitä sulla on kysyttävää? Kysäsepä. Joo, no, tota, englanniksi vai suomeksi? Englanniksi mielellään. Well, um... In English. Oh. In English. Why aren't you in Iron Maiden anymore? Why aren't you in Iron Maiden anymore? Ah, uh, well, because I left. <laughs> I, 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 I resigned. Uh, if you went along and saw the gig, you may have noticed they have a different lead singer. Uh, yeah. Not me. Uh, three years ago, I left. I quit. I resigned. I took my unemployment card. I checked in. I checked out of Iron Maiden. I am not with them anymore. No longer resident uh, at that address. Okay. Are you up there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the roof. He's on the roof. <laughs> Get the SWAT team. Mies katolta soitti ja kysyi, että minkä takia Bruce ei ole enää Iron Maidenissa. No sen takia, kun minä erosin siitä bändistä. Noin simpelisti vastaan. Okay, Bruce. So if you have a few minutes after the next song or break or whatever, some of these people around you would like to ask a few questions. Cool. So thank no you problem. for now. Thank okay, you. now we're gonna hear your music. Are you up? Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Oh, we're gonna play? Yeah. Would you please, please this isn't in the script. sing for me? I wonder thank what this was. Please, please. <laughs> Making you. Oh no, look, this microphone's falling off. Um, we look, don't need this anyway. We found a guitar player as well. Yeah. <laughs> calling all cars, calling all cars. Right, this is <coughs> um, that's all right, I'll stick it I'll stick it in my pocket here. This um this is oh god, yeah no my buttons keep coming undone. Uh right, this is a song called um uh, I think so. It's switched on. Sure guitar. Right. This is called inertia. Where are you all? Surrounded. From the new album, Stunkworks. These are the pictures, these are the feelings from the front line. Living in silence. Feeling the deafness like heavy smoke Smiling with strangers Counting the days like a spring coiled up inside Welcome to your future Welcome to your book of lies Fingers crawl through pages Nothing changes living here In the show to move at all in the shop everything's a stone wall in the shop history lets you die A ragged pile of silent accusers Smell the blood of strangers here No eyes, no ears, no smell, no taste The mouth of the maggot is full of this place Murdered conscience, the pressure is crushing heads Like paper lanterns now Unbreakable grip, 